Hey friends, it's Mary here. And today we are coming to you from a brand new campground that we have never been to before. In fact, a brand new area of the country, strangely, that we've never been to. So uh, as you know, our home base is in Indiana and you would think that we have been just about everywhere around the Midwest, but sure enough, we haven't. And we've been hearing for a while from some friends of ours that you need to go up to Camp Perry on Lake Erie, uh, up near Port Clinton, Ohio. And we've been trying to do this for a couple of years. And for whatever reason, things just did not work out for us to be able to make that trip happen. But this year we committed to it and we came north to Lake Erie. And I have to tell you, we were not disappointed. So. Uh, I'm gonna take you on a little walk around of the campground itself, some of the amenities uh, here on the base, as well as some amenities in the local area. Now, I do wanna start by saying this is a military installation. It is Camp Perry and it is a part of the Ohio National Guard. So you do have to have, uh, you have to either be military, you have to be retired, you have to have some connection to the military in order to stay here. Um, but so that's one thing you need to know from the very beginning. They also take reservations, which is really great. We made our reservations well in advance of our trip so that we could make sure uh, that we had a spot. Now, one thing I wanna tell you, all right. First of all, there are no interstates to bring you right here to Port Clinton, Ohio, all right? But don't be nervous, don't worry, it's okay. The roads that the GPS brought us on, even though they were state roads, they were four lane all the way, really great roads, no issues at all uh, with us or our RV. Now, with that being said, we followed our GPS, and the GPS told us to turn on this road. And you know, when you're someplace new, you just follow the GPS because it's telling you what to do and you just believe it. As soon as we made the turn onto the road that it told us to go on, we saw a sign that said no outlet. Now, according to the GPS, there was gonna be a turn in before the road dead ended. So no problem, right? We just kept on going certain that the GPS was going to have a gate up there and we were going to be able to turn into the base. Yeah, that gate has been closed according to the housing office for several years. So we ended up at the end of a dead end street where we had Lake Erie uh, in front of us and we had houses all around us. Thankfully, a very nice local person came out and said, so here's what you need to do to get out of here talked us right through the process and we were able to get out because Phil's absolutely fabulous at driving this thing. I mean, kind of drives it around like a Toyota Prius. All right, so uh, we were able to get out of that situation, but I will tell you, um, you need to make sure that you're turning the right place. So here's my advice to you. When you are coming, you will come in on Highway 2 whether you're coming from the east or from the west from Toledo, or whether you're coming up from the south or from the east, you are gonna be coming in on Highway 2. Stay on Highway 2 until you see these two brick kind of large pillars. It almost looks like something that would lead you into a castle. When you see that, that is the entrance you want to go on. If your GPS tries to turn you any other way, please ignore it and go to those two big brick columns. All right? Trust me, you're going to you're going to want to do that. Do not GPS yourself to the housing office. All right, that and the convention center, that was the other mistake we made. That's that old gate, right, that no longer opens. So you're going to want to GPS yourself to Camp Perry to just the main base. And that will bring you right in that driveway that comes in between those two large, like I said, sort of castle-like brick columns. All right, so now that we have all of that taken care of, let's take a look around this campground and show you uh, what there is to see and do here. 
So the first thing I wanna show you obviously is the campsite. And I do apologize, this is the last day that we've been here. We've been up here for two weeks. And so you can see where my, uh, where my uh, yard mat was, it sort of discolored the grass a little bit. Uh, but this is our campsite. You can see that it is a paved campsite. It is very long because we actually just have our bumper right at the edge of the pavement and we had plenty of room to park our truck in front of the RV. All of the campsites are very long and really nice. They were also very level. We didn't have any issues with leveling on this. As you can see, each campsite does have some grass space. This is the RV beside us, so it's not a huge space between each RV, but it's nice. It's a, a sufficient amount that we didn't hear people uh, excessively at all. It does come with a picnic table, which you can see there. There's also a fire ring at each campsite. You are allowed to have fires, but obviously only within those fire rings. Now there are a few trees. You can see there's some bigger trees there behind us. There's some uh, smaller sort of ornamental trees around. It does provide quite a bit of um, shade cover, which is really nice. Now we're in site number 11, okay? And I will tell you that site number 11 has direct sun on this side, this front side of our RV all afternoon so it does get a little bit warmer in the afternoon with that sun but the nice thing about being up here on Lake Erie and having that lake effect wind and breeze is that we're here in let's see this is uh, early to mid um, August and we it was like 75 the whole time we're here so absolutely gorgeous weather up here in northern Ohio. Now I'm going to walk over here to the other side of the campsite and you can see here those are uh, other campsites. This is the one next to us. There are several others over there as well. Not too far close together which I really really love. So the campsites do have full hookup. So you can see here, uh, this is the sewage. And then back here, we have the water. And then the electric is way back here. So that's something to think about, right? When you are positioning or parking your RV, is your electric is going to have to come all the way past the cement pavement that you're parked on. All right, the water is a little further up and then your sewage goes all the way up here. So those are just things that you need to take into consideration when you're choosing where to sort of drop anchor um, is thinking about the positioning of those and whether or not what you have is going to reach. Now, one other thing about this campground is that your electric box is locked with a padlock. Okay, and so each site has its own keys um, and those will actually give you access to the bathrooms as well, the shower houses, which I will show you in just a little bit. Uh, but because of that, much like that campground we stayed at in Wabash, right, where things were locked up, and like I said, that's your electric and your water are going to be locked. You can see those padlocks on there. You do have to go to the housing office first. So this is not one of those campgrounds where you can park and, um, and go up. I mean, I suppose you could, you're just not gonna be able to hook up. But the good news about the, um, the housing office here on this base is that it is open really late. Like they're open till seven or eight o'clock at night every day of the week, even on the weekends. We came in on a Saturday and we had no problems uh, going over there, getting our keys and then coming to our site. I will tell you that the office, it's actually um, just, you, can, it's, you can't see it because it's on the other side of this barracks that you see here. Um, but it does have a rather large parking lot. So we were able to pull in that parking lot. We were able to go inside, get registered, get our keys, come out, and you can basically go left out of that parking lot through a little bit of a housing area and you can come right back around. So it's a big loop, it's very easy to do. 
So here are the bathhouses at Camp Perry's campground. You can see that there is a long row of restrooms and two of those are handicap accessible. And then back in this area, uh, we have the shower area where there are one, two, three, four showers. Over here on this wall, you do have um, room to hang things up and benches to get dressed. And this is what the showers look like. So uh, pretty standard, but really nice, very clean. Um, you do have the separate uh, shower area and then room to get dressed in there with a separate curtain. And as we go back out here, I'll show you uh, that area where the sinks are. There is a big mirror on this side, which is great. Several plugins around that so that you can um, do your hair if you want. And then here is uh, the sink area. Again, there are plugins um, on each one of those mirrors so that you can also do your hair here. These showers do require, these bathrooms do require you to use a key, but when you check in, you do receive two keys uh, so that you can utilize these uh, amenities. In addition to the camping area where I showed you earlier, where I start, our site was, there is also out here on the other side of the uh, restroom facilities, there is a really large tent area. Uh, no amenities here, but plenty of room to pitch a tent. There is a post laundromat on the base, and I'm gonna take you in here. Uh, so this is maybe three blocks from the campground, and you can see that they have five washers, and they have six dryers in here. Uh, they do have the baskets that you can use to transfer your clothing. There is a little bit of seating, nothing fancy. This is certainly very militaristic, uh, if you can allow me that term. Um, I will tell you that they do have a change machine here, so you can get change for your money. It accepts ones, fives, and tens. Keep in mind it is gonna give you change for that whole amount. The cost on these is $1 to wash and $1 to dry, so very reasonable. And like I said, maybe two, three blocks from the campground, so really close and convenient. It's also um, right out that door that I came in here. If you just go to your right here and right around the corner of this building, that gives you access to the PX on base as well. And just a short distance from the campground, maybe about a quarter of a mile at the most, you are standing right on uh, the banks of Lake Erie. And uh, this is actually a private beach that's only accessible to those who are here on the campground or at the campground or on the base at Camp Perry. Just beautiful. Now we're on the other side of the of Lake Erie. So you can see this, uh, this sort of walkway that we came across. It's sort of a metal pier. Uh, that was, when I showed you the view earlier, it would have been to our right of the screen. We just walked all the way from the beach, which is right over there. Zoom in just a little. There's that beach. And then we came across the pier right down to here and now we're looking back at Camp Perry uh, out on a pier in Lake Erie. Truly beautiful. You can also fish from this pier so there's some people's uh, fishing gear right down there and you can fish from here and they said that they're fishing for perch but they haven't caught any of that today but they have caught white bass. Uh, and you can catch perch from here, just they're not successful with that today. So I wanted to show you a little bit of the sites that are around this area because it as it is absolutely gorgeous. So you can see behind me that is Lake Erie. I'm actually standing uh, right next to the Port Clinton Lighthouse, which you can now see there behind me. Uh, this is in downtown Port Clinton. It's maybe a 10 minute drive uh, from Camp Perry. It's got a beautiful beach here too, a public beach. 
but this is just a really gorgeous park uh, that they've put here in tribute to this lighthouse. So I encourage you uh, to get out when you come to the Camp Perry area, check out Port Clinton and all that Lake Erie has to offer. Hey folks, Mary and Phil here. We are on Putnam Bay Island uh, out in Lake Erie. And we are uh, renting a go uh, golf cart. And uh, now we're just driving around. And this island has so much to see and do. You can see the grapevines here. There are several wineries. There's beer gardens. You can stay on this island. Um, but the majority of the people, as you can see here, are just getting around the island on bicycles, golf carts, mopeds, things like that. So if you are in this area of, of northern Ohio and on Lake Erie, you definitely want to catch the ferry boat over to Putin Bay. There's a um, couple ferries you can catch. One is the uh, Jet Express Ferry, and it's... $65 a person, is that right, babe? That's right. And then the golf cart was $130 for the entire day. And we are headed down to the lighthouse, and when we get there, we'll show you that too. And here we are just a little ways from the lighthouse, but I wanted to show you this island. So this is actually called Green Island. It's a very small island out in the middle of Lake Erie. It's completely uninhabited, but it is a nature preserve and it's absolutely stunning. I wish uh, that the colors would do it justice, but unfortunately because of the Canadian fires, uh, we have a little bit of haze today, but you can see that it is a beautiful little island out in the middle of Lake Erie and look at all those gorgeous sailboats that are around it today. It's a perfect day to be out on Lake Erie. So here we are on Putin Bay, and like we told you earlier, everybody just gets around here on golf carts. Now, when we were showing you earlier, we were in a little more secluded area, a little more away from downtown, and it was a little earlier in the day. So this is like the heart of the day. So this is right around noon, one o'clock, and would you look at all the carts on the left um, that are parked? And this is the line of traffic that we are in, trying to we're just go golf cart jam, the traffic, traffic jam. jam. Uh, we're just really trying to go one block, quite frankly. And um, so, yeah, this is what we're dealing with. There are a few cars on this island, but not very many. The majority of the people get around on just these golf carts. Uh, some really decorated is that one over there. Um, but just wanted to give you a little sense of what it's like here at Putin Bay. We did find out there is a campground at the state park and you can bring your RVs over here. You have to do it on the Miller Ferry. Uh, they have a car ferry and the lady at the, the Putin Bay Historical, Historical Museum. Society Museum told us that they can handle larger RVs. So just something to think about. So there you go. If you want to bring your RV right out to Putin Bay, you would simply go to the mainland um, of Ohio, northern Ohio, and then you would have to use, like Phil said, you have to use the Miller Ferry because we came over on the, the Jet, Jet Ferry, Express. the Jet Express Ferry, but that is just people only, no vehicles. So you have to come over on the Miller Ferry, but you can do that. There is a state park here. It has a campground with full hookup. So. There you go, a little camping tip uh, here, uh, an extended camping tip for out on Putin Bay. So there you have it, folks. That is uh, Camp Perry Campground, just outside of Port Clinton, Ohio, right on Lake Erie, um, the shallowest of all the Great Lakes. By the way, there's a little tip for you. Uh, but we absolutely loved our time here. And although this was the first time we have ever gotten up to this area um, in all of our years, which is pretty incredible, I can tell you it will not be our last. Uh, Phil, in addition to the, some of the things that I showed you, uh, there are fishing boats you can charter. Phil actually went out on a group, uh, on a boat with had about 20 people fishing 
and he caught 24 perch. And if you haven't had lake perch, oh, absolutely some of the best fish you will ever eat. In fact, I encourage you if you come up here and you wanna get some really fabulous lake perch, just take Highway 2 uh, to Lakeshore Drive, take that beautiful scenic drive down into Port Clinton, go across that, um, uh, that bridge that goes up and down that I showed you when we were heading out uh, to uh, Putin Bay, and I want you to go downtown and I want you to go out to the Jolly Rogers restaurant. It is not fancy, but I'm telling you what, you will have the best perch or walleye you've ever had in your life. So be sure to check that out. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, we really loved it here. We will come back. We hope you will check out this campground as well. If you are a military person, you definitely wanna stay at Camp Perry. If you're not military, but you would like to come to this area, I can tell you there are dozens, dozens, that's not an exaggeration, dozens of campgrounds right here in the greater Port Clinton area. You will want to call and make a reservation though because they fill up super fast, but this would be a great place to come and spend a couple of weeks in the real heat of the summer because the weather has been perfect. As always, we're Hendrick home on the highway and we'll see you down the road.